Balto the Werewolf. Hmm, I wonder what this fanfic is going to be about. Oh boy. Well, it's still a step up from, um, Goku and Anne Frank in Until the End of Time. Yeah. Okay. I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. Yeah, um, yeah, today's fanfic, I think it's self-explanatory, but I'll explain it again anyway. It's a Balto fanfiction called Balto the Werewolf by a Paul 017. Okay. Interesting name. This is a DeviantArt fanfic. Um, it has no comments, no favorites, no views, and no downloads. It's really popular. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Balto the Werewolf. It was a stormy night in Alaska, but of course Balto the wolf dog wasn't going to let a little weather stop him. One of Sun's dingo was with him. One of Sun's dingo was with him? What? Shouldn't it say one of Dingo's sons was with him? Wouldn't that make more sense? Yes, it would. So if you're watching this, go into your fan fiction and fix that. Thank you. As Balto and Dingo were about to run towards Balto's boat, Balto decided to take an alternate route. Why do you have a comma after the word alternate? That doesn't need to be there, so get rid of it. On this route, they spotted a cabin. It was large but appeared abandoned. Okay. This should be broken up into two sentences. Or have a or have a comma. Or have it say, on this route, comma, they spotted a cabin, have it end with a period, and then capitalize the I in it, and have that be its own sentence, saying, it was large but appeared abandoned. Let's check it out. Balto told his son. Oh, I see. Dingo is supposed to be one of Balto's sons. So that other sentence should have said one of his own, one of his sons, Dingo, was with him. Let's continue. Pop, yes, yeah, sure. I heard rumors that if you walk in there, you'll be cursed and changed into a werewolf. Dingo warned his father. Dingo! First of all, I'm already half wolf, so technically that won't happen. Come on, in we go. Balto said impatiently. Aw oh, man, Dingo said to himself as he walked into the old cabin. Both hybrids walked in not knowing what dangers may follow. Then Steel... What's with the extra space between the commas there? Balto's rival, along with his hench dogs, Caltag, Nikki, and Star, noticed Balto walking in. This gave Steel an idea. Hey guys, how about we give Balto a scare? Heh <laughs> heh. Steel chuckled to himself. Oh yes, Steel is resorting to um, childish tactics to get at his rival. Yeah, how charming. How are you going to do that, Steel? Star asked. Yeah, boss, what's the plan? Nikki followed. We're going to go into that cabin, follow Balto wherever he goes, and give the worst nightmares of his life, Steele answered. We, well, that's just stupense, the freakiest, the scariest, the most clever, the, the Caltag was trying to compliment Steele's plan, but was interrupted by Star. That even scares me, Star said. Okay, fine, I agree, Caltag agreed. Come on, enough fallen around, let's go. I think you spelled fooling wrong. Steele said, wow, the grammar's atrocious. Steele said as they walked toward the cabin and eventually making it to the door. Malto and Dingo were in the cellar, walking back to the first floor when Dingo started shivering and whimpering. Come on, Dingo, don't be such a scaredy dog. What brothers and sisters say? So does Balto speak like a caveman now? Sorry, Pop, Dingo said in reply. You know how I am. Then Balto and Dingo walked into the dining room. Oh, well, look at all the stuff Balto said, admiring the old furniture. Dingo rolled his eyes at this, but then he thought he saw something out of the corner of his eye. He began to shiver again as he tried to turn his head to look, but he saw nothing. 
Then he turned his head back to where his father was in front of him, but to Dingo's surprise, Balto gave him a scary look as if he was possessed or something. When Dingo saw this, he fainted. Whoops, Balto said in regret. After Dingo woke up, the two hybrids walked into a nearby hallway. It seemed dim despite the full moon showing through the window covering the wall. This is when Balto would regret walking into the house. Like Dingo, said, like Dingo, he thought he saw something out of the corner of his eye. This time, something was really there for him to observe. Caltag, Star, and Nikki formed a barrier, keeping Balto from exiting the hallway. Dingo tried running away, but then ran into steel. Dingo went back to his father, hoping his dad would get them out of this, but to Dingo's surprise, Balto himself started shivering. Ah, oh, man. You can't be getting scared, too, Dingo assumed this. Balto didn't reply, but Steel did. Oh, he's afraid, kid. Heh heh heh. Be very afraid, Balto. Steel threatened as the two... As the two... At... What? Threatened the two... Oh, sorry. As the other three huskies began to taunt also, but then there was silence as everyone observed Balto. Balto began to feel strange. He felt blood rush through him really quickly. His legs felt weak, and his urge to howl and growl began to grow. Finally, Balto looked up and saw the full moon. Dingo was right, Balto thought to himself. Is it really happening to me? Balto began to growl even louder as his body began to change. His fur got slightly longer and grew into a darker shade of brown. His claws got longer and sharper, his ears became pointier, and his eyes went from being brown to red. He was becoming 100% wolf. Um, the last I checked, wolves do not have red eyes. As Dingo, Steel, and the others watched this, they began to step back, but Steel didn't care. He attempted to pounce Balto, but was instead bitten by Balto in the neck and thrown towards Caltag, Star, and Nikki. The three dogs walked up to their leader. Okay, wrong there. It should be T-H-E-I-R, not T-H-E-R-E, -E, you bubblehead. And then looked back at Balto. He growled at them again and began and snapping at them with his large teeth. Oh, shit. Ah, they all screamed as they began to run away from them. So there's more than one Balto. Dingo looked at his father, puzzled. You okay, Dag? Dad? Balto nodded, apparently unable to speak. They walked back to the living room where they noticed a huge storm was blowing outside. Ah, oh, man, Dingo said in disappointment. We're stuck here till the storm clears. Balto agreed with his son and they walked toward the fireplace where the were able where they you mean were able to start a fire to keep warm. Okay, they're dogs. How the heck can they start fires? They don't have hands to start fires with. Da -da -da. They then laid there and eventually drifted to sleep. Steel was limping in the hallway where he was bitten. He walked into the in the moonlight where he also looked up at the moon. Then he himself began to feel more pain, but it wasn't from the wounds. He, it was pulsating throughout his whole body. He took one, that was, one last look at the moon, and at this he realized what was happening. A demonic smile formed on his face, and he began to transform into a wolf. Balto had woken up because he heard footsteps. Dingo also awoke, but because he became afraid. Balto looked straight ahead. You spelled straight wrong! of him and saw a large fully uh, a large furry figure standing in front of him. It was the newly transformed Steel. Balto leaped toward him and attempted to bite him, but Steel just snap just slapped Balto with his tail. Balto felt his face and it was wet with blood. No way, all that happened to me was his tail slapped me. Balto thought to himself puzzled. He focused his sight back on Steel, but he was gone. Balto began to look around but saw nothing. Then Steel jumped down and pushed Balto on to the floor with great force. Then Steel gave out a howl of triumph as he prepared to slash Balto on his face with his claws. Dinko had to do something, but the only thing he could think of was attacking Steel. Dinko at this point felt enraged, empowered, and without thinking ran towards Steel and pushed him on his side. He bit Steel's tail which was actually pretty thick and swung teal, steel around like Mario did with Bowser in Super Mario 64. Really? You're going to bring a video game into this fanfic? First of all, Mario did not exist back when this story takes place. And secondly, Mario has absolutely nothing to do with this story at all. So take it out, you bozo! He let go of steel and he went flying out the door into the cold weather.
So did Dingo become a werewolf too, or did he suddenly get super doggy powers? Dingo walked over to his dad to see if he was all right. And sure enough, he was. After the storm died, Balto and Dingo left the cabin to head to Jenna's house. The sun had risen, but Balto still looked like 100% wolf, but he didn't care. Everyone noticed this, but they were all fascinated by it instead of afraid. They made their way to Jenna's house, but Balto stayed in the boiler room nearby. Dingo told his mother all about the adventure they had, and she began to worry. Wait, Dingo, I want to see your father. She left the house and went to the boiler room. There, she saw her maid completely transformed. Gasp. You actually have the word gasp in there? Gasp is supposed to be a sound effect, and you... You know what? I'm not surprised anymore. I mean, this fanfic is littered with bad spelling and grammar mistakes, so this re really shouldn't shock me. Balto, are you... Oh, she began to scan his body. She knows that a certain part of him that was located between his hind legs had also changed. So did his penis get bigger? Wolf. She said in amazement. Balto knew what she was thinking and what she was talking about and looking at, so he blushed. So because he became a wolf, his penis got bigger? Whatever. She began to walk toward him and whispered, Do you want to bite me? She said in a sexy tone. Balto once again blushed and his new and improved male organ began to stiffen. She, he became really nervous when he noticed that the wind blew the door closed. Dingo was left at his mother's house wondering where she was and where all those grunts and sighs and gasps were coming from. And I think that's a good enough story for now. I'm not sure if there's any more to this story. Frankly, I don't care. I think I read enough to um, judge the story. Yes, um, let's see. This story was stupid. It was stupid and it didn't make any sense. So because they go into this certain house, they become werewolves. No, I shouldn't even say werewolves. They become fully transformed wolves by looking at the moon. But in Balto's case, he doesn't transform back into what he was before he stays a full wolf. How is this so? And is Steel going to transform back, or is he going to be a wolf as well? I don't know. And um, what made, didn't make any sense was how the heck was Dingo, who wasn't, you know, transformed into a wolf, how was he able to take on Steel like that? I mean, Balto was having trouble fighting Steel, and Balto at this point was supposed to be a full-fledged wolf as well. And, you know, he was getting his ass handed to him, and all of a sudden, his son, who isn't even a wolf, is all, la, 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 grabs him by the tail, swings him around, and flings him out a window. It's like, okay, what sense does that make? And finally, Balto was completely out of character in this. They had him acting like a kid. Like, he wants his son to go with him to this haunted cabin that supposedly turns into a werewolf. I mean, they had him act like he was one of you know, Dingo's siblings rather than his father. And I also thought that Steel was kind of out of character in this, too. I mean, oh, childish ta tactics. Let's go and scare Balto. We'll give him nightmares if he goes to the haunted house. <laughs> what are you, in high school? No, 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 better yet, are you in middle school? And frankly, I don't think Steel really made any appearances in the sequels to Balto, did he? And then again, I didn't really watch any of the sequels to Balto because I kind of thought they looked stupid, but that's just my opinion. Either way, this fanfic was a waste of time, the storyline was dumb, the plot was dumb, the characters were out of character, and if you want to look at the technical aspects of this fanfic, the spelling and grammar and the layout was atrocious. And the title, Balto the Werewolf, could you be any less creative with that? Come on. That's probably the one one of the most stupidest and uncreative titles I've ever heard. It's just stupid. Balto the werewolf. 
I mean, maybe if you just called it the werewolf, that would be kind of better instead of having it say Balto, the werewolf. I don't know. I could think of many creative titles for this fanfic that are a lot better than that. Well, it's still a step up from that Anne Frank fanfic. At least I don't want to kill myself this time. <sighs> well, I'm the fanfic critic. I read it, you listen, and I'm going to watch an American werewolf in London. Actually, this fanfic should just be called Balto the Wolf because he didn't actually transform into a werewolf, he transformed into a wolf. So the title kind of contradicts itself. Why am I still talking about this? Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye. God, I need a new hobby.